Most people get cartoon characters completely wrong in Mid-Journey. They're treating it like a guessing game when there's actually a proven system that works every time. I'll show you the Mid-Journey game changer that most people are completely missing. By the end of this video, you'll have a repeatable system that saves hours and delivers professional results. In this video, we're gonna take one image and we're gonna make several different styles. Ready? Let's get to it. And the first step we're gonna take is the Omni Reference new parameter in Mid Journey 7. Let's take a look at how that works. Before Mid Journey 7, getting an image that resembled the original was a very laborious process, but now it's a piece of cake. I wanna show you how to do that. First, we're gonna upload an image that we wanna use in this case, if you haven't been able to guess, we're going to use an image of John Wick. And uh, you've seen all those movies, right? So we have one right here that we've gotten and uh, we're going to upload it. Now, if this was an image of you or somebody you know or something you're doing, it works the same way. Just because we're using this doesn't mean it's not going to be any different for you. So we've got our image and we just put it right here in the Omni Reference section. And it's a piece of cake, right? So in the old way, we had to use the C ref or the character reference to get a good result. Nowadays, we're using the Omni reference, which also is known as the O ref. And it's a total game changer, right? So now we've got our image. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to control the level of influence using the Omni weight parameter, right? And now I've got a prompt that I'm gonna go ahead and paste in you can do it two ways to control the Omni reference. The first is using the Omni weight right here where you can just type it in, or you can control it using the slider bar, okay? And you can control it here. Uh, by the way, the bigger the number, the more it's gonna look just like the image. The uh, smaller the number, the more creativity that you're gonna have. And I've done lots of testing. I like to start at 80. And then I might change it later, but that's usually where I start. Okay, so here's what we're going to do first. We're going to do a 2D flat animation style. And this is going to give us that old kind of cartoony look, right? And we've also going to do some power permutations with the style for 100, 200, 400, 800, because we really don't know what we're going to get right off the bat. And I like to have a lot of choices. Now, when you use power permutations, just know uh, this is a way that you can eat up your uh, GPU time if you have a lower tier plan. But I find it it's an easy way to get lots of images going all at once because we know that in mid journey, not everything's gonna be perfect. And this is gonna give you a way that you can find something that's usable and you can start playing with it, right? So all of these have the different levels of uh, stylized, which is the creative control. This is you know, uh, 100, this is 200, this is the 400, and this is the 800 row, okay? So here's what we get right off the bat, right? So this is what we asked for, which is uh, cinematic lighting, and we wanted this 2D flat style. That's really good right there, right off the bat. This is at the 100 level of creativity or stylized. Some of these are better than others. That's kind of good. I like that one a lot. That one's good. So it looks like the 400 level is really good for this. And then here's 800. So I'm guessing 400 and 100 are our top levels. And if you liked any of these, here's where you could do very subtle or very strong to develop some different uh, images based on this one that we, we like the most. And here's a way that you can get a cartoon image that's flat rendered right off the bat with not a whole lot of effort. So let's check these out. So if this was a character that you're using something for, you can see how immediately you get something that's pretty good. So remember, here's your pro tip. Start at the Omni weight of 80, and you can always increase that if you don't like the results but I found that this really is a good place to start for a lot of your work. All right, now let's do our caricature. 
So our caricature is an exaggerated drawing, uh, and usually it's loose and a little more fun, and this is gonna give us a great result. So let's take a look. And just like before, we're gonna paste it in, and we're still using the same omni-reference, so let's make sure we load that. And we're gonna keep the omni-reference at 80, and we're gonna use the same style, but you can notice that we've got different prompts in here. So, and also, we're always leading with the words about what we're looking for in the image. And notice that we're not saying John Wick anywhere, we're just saying man, right? So, caricature style, exaggerated features, man, cinematic lighting, uh, all this other stuff, right? So, this is what really gives the caricature style for the image. And let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, and you'll notice that our uh, our results are kind of mixed. This one's got, he's got some crazy eyes here. But uh, some of these are kind of really, really great, right? I really like that one. And his hair, you know, is kind of always a certain way in the movies. You know, this is the caricature style that I was really looking for, right? Look at that one. Very loose, very handmade, really kind of a cool look, okay? And just like anything, some of these are better than others, right? And if you uh, remember, these are all different stylized weights. And that's the level of creativity, right? And I kind of noticed that, you know, this one seems to look the best. So does this one, right? So if we wanted to, we could just hit very strong for both of these and we could get a whole bunch of other images just like it. This is how you get variations on a theme and you can pick and choose and then you can start playing around and develop some different images. And here we go. Pretty nice. Next, let's check out the video game style of doing a cartoon. And of course, to save time, I've got a prepared prompt, okay? And you'll notice that it's video game style cartoon character. Uh, and then the rest of these are kind of uh, kind of the same, right? As usual, we we'll need to load in our Omni reference. Actually, we can hit the lock button and that just keeps it there. That's a good tip. All right, so let's get some stuff going. You can already see that some of these are better than other ones. Um, you know, that one, uh, obviously not uh, John Wick, right? Look at this one. Awesome. So this is a video game style render. Very colorful, kind of a cool look. And then just like the other ones, if we wanted to, we could hit very subtle, very strong, and then develop uh, more images that are like the ones that we like. And you'll notice that, you know, he's wearing a kind of a gray suit with a red tie. And of course, in the movies, it's always a dark suit with a black tie. So if you want to change stuff like that, you can always add those prompts into your prompt sequence, you know, dark suit, black tie or whatever. Uh, you can also change that in the editing uh, where you just put those words in the editor at the end and then it'll add them as well. So now let's take a look at ones that are 3D rendered. These are typical and movies like, uh, you know, Pixar or Shrek or something like that. And we can do that with mid-journey. So let's figure that out. Let's go. And as you would guess, all we need is the right prompt and it's just 3D rendered style. And I'm adding the word cute in here. Um, I don't know if Mid John Wick can be cute, but let's check that out, right? And also a really great look for this is the Japanese word chibi. This is that big head with the tiny body with the big eyed style. And sometimes that's kind of cool. If that doesn't work, we'll just take that out. And uh, just like the other ones, I'm going to be using Omni reference uh, of the guy of John Wick of Kino Reeves. And uh, so let's go ahead and get that going. And uh, just like the other ones, we've got four different levels of creativity here with the stylized uh, 100, 200, 400 and 800. And, you know, Mid-Journey doesn't always give you exactly what you want, which is why I like getting a lot of images at once and then getting the ones that uh, have potential and uh, making more of those and changing those up. Okay. We got some kind of interesting looks here. Let's check these out. 
That one's kind of interesting. That's worth exploring. Let's see a very strong on that one. Kind of like that one also, even though his hair is kind of weird. Here he's got an eye patch. Don't know what's going on with that. Kind of pink background looks weird for John Wick, but we'll see if we can very strong that out of the way. I like the eyebrows here and almost the goatee. There we go. Now we did ask for cute. So if we want to see what it might be like without uh, the cute chibi part, uh, let's go ahead and just delete that part out. And here's our variations while we're waiting on that ones to, to load. There you go. That one looks pretty good. So let's see what we got here. So here's our new ones without the cute chibi. I don't know if these are very Pix Pixar styled. So the cute and chibi really helped with that style. Anyway, you can also use Pixar if you want. I tend to not use that type of stuff in my uh, prompts, but you can do what you want. But you can see you can get some really good images. Now we got one more. And it's just a classic cartoon. This is the, you know, you think about Saturday morning cartoons. That's what I think of. Let's see if we can use that style. And just like before, we'll throw our prompt in here. Get the thing going. And so the good prompts for this are flat color cartoon character cell shading. That's the term for what they do when they paint on the acetate uh, cells. That's what they're called when they have animation and I also threw in here classic TV cartoon style. Let's see how this renders out. So as you can see that gave us a really interesting look. Lots of color. Interesting that it made a kind of a half tone dot background back there. Kind of like how it looks. Uh, but some of these aren't anywhere close to John Wick. I guess that's if he was James Bond. <laughs> There you go. I think you had to get to the right creativity level. So as you can see, it's kind of hit or miss with flat cartoon character. But if we wanted to do some of these, I think we could be taking somewhere. So we'll improve some of these just to see where it, where they go. And I like that the first one we had. Where's that? So I do very subtle, very strong. And then, of course, if I needed to, I would do remix, maybe change the aspect ratio or uh, add in some different prompts or whatever. But as you can see, this is a real easy way that you guys can be making cartoons of any image. And, um, you know, just to be clear, you know, here's our image that we, we got this off the Internet, right? This is just Kino at uh, some Hollywood premiere of John Wick. And that's where we're using all of these images from right and we got some pretty decent decent results right so the good thing here is you can see is it doesn't take a whole lot all you really need is specific prompts make sure you put the art style first in your prompts and then give it exactly what you want what you're looking for use an omni reference which is an image uh, that you can upload from your own personal library or get something from the internet or whatever and then that's going to take you a lot of places so thanks for watching the video if you have any questions about anything drop them in the comments we're happy to help you and uh we'd love to hear from you and uh that's it thanks for watching take care see you